welcome to Keep It Sunny's 31 Days of Halloween. Welcome back to the episode of Keep It Sunny's 31 Days of Halloween. For today's episode, we're making an easy family dinner. This is a classic family dinner with a little twist to make it a little creepy for Halloween. Today, we're going to be making a brain meatloaf and some moldy mac and cheese. The ingredients you're going to need for this recipe are going to be one box of macaroni and cheese mix, a quarter cup of panko crumbs, a quarter cup of bread crumbs, three tablespoons of melted butter, green food coloring, two pounds of ground beef, three slices of bread chopped up, two cups of croutons, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of garlic powder, a half a cup of minced onions, and some ketchup. Three eggs and one can of vegetarian vegetable soup. So we're going to start off by taking a large mixing bowl and we're going to add our three slices of chopped bread. Two cups of croutons. I like to crush up the croutons so they're not such big chunks. And then we're going to add half a cup of onions. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of pepper. One tablespoon of parsley. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One can of vegetarian vegetable soup. Three eggs. Now I'm going to go ahead and just start by mixing this up with a spoon just to make it a little more incorporated before we add our meat. And then we're going to add our two pounds of ground beef. I'm going to mix that up first with a spoon. I'm going to go ahead and get in there with my hands and mix it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and place it into a glass dish. And I'm going to just going to shape it in the general shape of a brain. And then I'm going to take a butter knife to add some detail. And I'm going to make a slice down the center of the brain and kind of separate it a little bit to represent two hemispheres of the brain. Then I'm just going to take the butter knife and make some little squiggles in there to look like all the details on the brain. You can press on it here and there and kind of separate the squiggles a little more and make them look a little more realistic. Okay, and once we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and bake it at 375 degrees for about 40 minutes. And then we're going to take it out of the oven. And we're going to generously put on some ketchup. We like a lot of ketchup on ours. 
and I'm just going to take a basting brush and brush this all over our brain and into the little crevices. And then it's going to go back into the oven. We're going to bake it at 375 degrees for another 30 to 40 minutes until a meat thermometer reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Okay, so while that's baking, we're going to work on our moldy mac and cheese. We're going to start off by taking two tablespoons of melted butter, and we're going to add some green food coloring. Then we're going to add in a quarter cup of panko crumbs. and a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Now we're making this an easy dinner tonight, so we're just gonna put this on some Kraft mac and cheese that I just went ahead and mixed according to the box. And we're just gonna sprinkle our little moldy breadcrumbs right on top. And I like to mix it in a little bit. Then we're going to place this into the oven and we're going to bake it at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. And this is how it came out. This is the moldy mac and cheese and the brain meatloaf. So that's it. That's all we have for you today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And make sure to join us tomorrow for some more Halloween fun. Thanks again for watching. If you would like extra content from us, you can check us out on our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. God loves you. Happy Halloween.